us on this month's show for the Black History Club. Also joining us again on this show, Dr. Brad Lindsay helps us showcase some of the great things happening at Marion Community Schools. Welcome to the Giant Showcase. So glad that you are joining us today. We have a great show lined up for you. And look who I have next to me, Mr. Mark Fowser. He is, a, well, you're quite the extraordinaire within Marion Community Schools. And we're going to talk about that because you have a background in creative development and marketing and sales and kind of a jack of all trades, not to mention your background with the arts. Yes. Yeah, there's that too. That's kind of a big wow. Well, aren't you sweet? It is. <laughs> well, you know what, folks? Everything that we talk about on this show is pertaining to Marion Community Schools, and we put a spotlight on excellence within the arts, athletic, athletics, and academics. And I promise you, I'm going to get that right before the end of the show. I'll say it a couple more times, so you can just watch and see if I get it right. Mark, you keep you got track, this. okay? You got this. All right. So, now, creative development. Let's jump right in, because yep. that was kind of your original um, focus when it, you started in with the school system. It was. I'm really uh, grateful to uh, Superintendent Brad Lindsay and our and our school board for thinking outside the box. It's just such a unique uh, way of thinking, and it really is uh, my honor and pleasure to serve them. and And uh, and I love this community. So when you have uh, a lot of friends and and that believe in the cause, then we can do great things for kids. And that's what it's all about is our kids. Mm -hmm. As as I've I've said many times on the show, our kids are our future. Absolutely. So, you know, I I would like for you to talk to us a little bit because within the creative development spectrum, it involves uh, raising some money because, you know, everybody is familiar with school systems. There's always a shortage of funding, right? And so that's a lot of responsibility kind of a weight on your shoulders, if you will, because you kind of are responsible to bring in some of that uh, extra support. Right. Well, you know, the, the taxpayers are paying for our teachers and the facilities, and, and which are vitally important. But there's things that go outside of that that yeah. are, in my opinion, equally important for kids is to get them active. And, and the cost of doing athletics and arts and academics mm-hmm. is, is high. And a lot of the kids are prevented from doing activities like that if they don't have some form of support. So when you have a history like Marion Community Schools with all the success Mm -hmm. and they're out there in the universe and they hear about what we're doing and the success Mm -hmm. and the enrollment being up, gets them excited. And so they start throwing money in because they we're telling them where the money goes. We're showing them how it's benefiting the kids. And so there's a lot of generous giants out there. That transparency is so, so important and so so appreciated. You know, speaking of generous giants. Yes. Um, there's something that is, it's, it's a really big deal. And this has something to do with a touch screen yes. device that is going to be going into the high school here yes. pretty soon. And it was donated by a alumni. Tell uh, us a little bit about it. I want to say is this person's big. name so bad, but they won't let me. They're anonymous. So, oh, I just want to, <laughs> but there's the humility, you just know, a humility yeah. and a, and a mm-hmm. sweetheart, but um, just has tremendous giant pride. And, yeah. and I shared with him this idea and is right on it. It's a, it's a $18,000 gift to the school. And what it will do is it'll be in our athletic hall of fame, but everybody anywhere in the world will have access to this. And so you'll be able to see everybody in our hall of distinction, everybody in our arts hall of fame, everybody in our athletic hall of fame. You'll be able to see videos from 1947, the state championship. Oh, like wow. there's, there's some of our hall of distinction. You'll be able to read bios and videos yeah. of, of all these people. And you can spend hours and hours and hours at your own home. Yes. Viewing these things. And, and it's just so, uh, and even yearbooks, every yearbook in the history of Mary Community Schools, so people will be able Think to think of the class reunion, right? And right. look at every page mm-hmm. of all of our history. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I I've been working with the programming from a with a person in Chicago who does uh-huh. this, and they have them all across the country. Mm-hmm. They said Mary Community Schools is the most elaborate and the most successful one they've seen. And they're literally all over the country. Wow. And we have one right here in Marion, Indiana, yes. thanks to the generosity of a, a very humble and uh, big-hearted alumni. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, and so we're programming, and it should be up uh, by the time this airs. Well, then uh, we want to make sure that folks stop by when next time they're in the, the high school yes. and check that out. Yes. And it's Marion dot touch dot com. Yes. And so anybody at home, you can look at that yourself. That's Marion dot touch 
Yes. Okay. So, uh, you know, I, I also want to talk about on that, uh, some of the events, the, like yep. the, uh, the, the giant night in lights and the giants against giant. What, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, those are just fun things that again, Mr. Lindsay says, just dream it, go for it. And we do it. So, uh, you work in conjunction with the alumni association and they're all great team players of ours. And, uh, so we had a giant nights and lights, which is a golf tournament is at Shady Hills right behind our house. And one time, two times we had the giants, um, against giants. It's, it's, uh, it's the alumni versus the varsity team. Oh, so it brings everybody back home and it, excitement. you know, excitement. And uh, there was no hamstrings pulled or anything. Was I was amazing. just going to ask because <laughs> I'm assuming that, you know, the alumni is made up from varying age ranges and various, think, right? Right. Yeah. We had, we had Jack Colescott, who's one of our Hall of Distinction members. Uh-huh. He was the coach of the basketball team and uh-huh. you bring back all these great giants from the past mm-hmm. and they play with the kids. And what it does, it gives our kids, um, an understanding of our history it's and important. a respect for the past. And knowing that someday they might be in those hallways of the Hall of Fame or the Hall of Distinction if they're so good true. character people. And they are. So true. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I want to jump into um, some uh, some other important areas, and that has to do with endowments. Yes. And some of the, the great things that have been done because of the endowments. Right. First, talk to us a little bit about the endowments, their, their point, the purpose of them, how they came about. Yeah. April uh, of 2015, we had uh, in our boardroom, brought the whole community in and all these people. It was right out of It's a Wonderful Life. People going, I'm in for a thousand. I'm in for a thousand. And next thing you know, now we have a quarter of a million dollars in our endowments. Wow. So what that means is every year we're able through academics, arts, and athletics. You ought to say it. Go ahead. Say it. Okay. Academics, academics, arts, and athletics. Got it. I got it. I, got, awesome. a good, yeah. I got a good coach, I knew right? you got that. That's a tag. Right. All right. right. But that is, uh, you know, every year we get to pull out the interest and give those gifts to our kids. So, uh, for example, um, our, uh, our choir has needed new, uh, uniforms. uniforms. That's right. Cause the band just got uniforms. The now band the choir. Just got, right. And the band got uniforms because the community foundation, then we had a match. Mm-hmm. So that's like $50,000 or $40,000 that we were able to get yeah. for, the, for the band, the uh-huh. new band uniforms mm-hmm. there. And they're you sharp see. looking they're too. Fantastic. And yeah. Josh is doing such a great job with the program. And it's been years and since they had new uniforms. Right. right. And so now because of the endowments, we're able to get the choir stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Don't our forget science, science program. Team? Yeah. Our science team's going yeah. to St. Louis. Yeah. So there's a thousand dollars for that, and that that covers some costs mm-hmm. as well. Oh wait, there's a big deal. Yes, there's a camera. It? Yes, and so oh, we got to talk about that camera because and that's a mm-hmm, thank something you. special. And what's great about your show is I can send the link yes. to them, and there is a there is a generous alumnus mm-hmm. from 1947. He was an Indiana All Star. His name is Dick Wigley, and right before Christmas, he goes, "Hey, what what, what do you need? What do you?" And I, we were looking at this new camera uh-huh. as a technology that's tied into your scoreboard. So it will cover the action yes. independently of anyone. And it's, so our, our people all over the world will be able to see our home games because of you, Dick what Wigley. What a great 1947. solution. 1947. Isn't that yes, so nice? That is. And wow, fancy technology too. Fancy technology. And yeah. what a giving, giving person. Very much so. Yeah. Well, you know what? We need to pause for a really quick break, but will you come back on the show and talk about some no more? No? no? Yes, I but will. But we, we got to get the whole arts, athletic, what was the other one? A- Academics. Academics, right? right? We got to get that back in the show. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more giant showcase in just a moment. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome back to the Giant Showcase. So glad that you are joining us today. We are spotlighting excellence within the arts, athletics, and academics within Marion Community Schools. And guess what? I got it right because I messed it up at the beginning of the show. So Mark is my coach and a great cheerleader. So we're going to see if I can get it right again later in the show. We've been talking with Mark Fowser, and he is the uh, creative development director as well as he takes care of sales and marketing for the school system as well. That's a really big job. So we wanted to give you an, a little inside look at what he does and uh, how it benefits the students 
within Marion Community Schools and our community as a whole. So Mark, um, let me talk to you first about something that I think is really exciting, mm -hmm. and that is a new feature, new to me, Okay. the Arts Hall of Fame. Yes, the Arts Hall and of Fame. And that's at the high school. Yes, and um, I'll tell you, we have such a great crew. I just, I'm so grateful to them. Dave Manis did some incredible carpentry. I mean, just the whole group is, it, Chris Burke did some great designs. Patricia Gibson's a great graphic yeah. designer. And what it is, is we really wanted to, you know, we did the Hall of Distinction. We mm -hmm. did the Athletic Hall of Fame, but we want to honor the arts as well. And Oh my gosh, those artists were so uh, grateful, and I'll tell you, we're so honored to have them up there to inspire our kids. Yeah. So they say, "Hey, look, you know, maybe someday I'll be up there." But it's a it's a beautiful display, and it kind of takes a look at some of the past uh, students from yes. Marion that yes. have gone on to pursue careers right. within the arts. And so you've got people like Caleb Marshall there. Yes. You've got people like Emma Draves, the dancer, mm -hmm. um, Tom Christie. Um, Bob Walton, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention yep. him. Bob and Jim and, Walton. Uh -huh. and there's, yeah, so, there's Bob yeah, right you there. you yeah. see some images of it. So you, you, those are just kind of putting a spotlight on the excellence of those individuals whose career paths have gone in the way of the arts. And right. who knows who might be attending Marion Community Schools right now That's right. that will end up on that wall of distinction. And such a on. neat, neat connection. There's one, uh, one of our artists, Tim Went, who yes. is a trumpet player. He played yeah. for Aretha Franklin. And Ooh. that's what Bobby Owensby's uh, show this month's all about. Yes. Is about Aretha Franklin. For, and I think we might be talking with Bobby here in a little bit. So, yeah. so now let me take you over to the marketing end of things yeah. because you do a lot of things to help raise community awareness about the giant successes that are happening. Mm -hmm. So yes, you do this show here on the giant showcase. But then you also are uh, out in the community in a variety of different ways. You're on radio. Mm -hmm. And how, talk to us a little bit about some of your marketing efforts. Well, we do, um, we, we have the uh, Giant Talk, which is every Monday morning. And, mm -hmm. and Mr. Lindsay's always on there with a, with a special guest. And they give you a kind of an update of what's going on. But also, we're really lucky to have you. Because you, <laughs> you are so gracious to do this for us and help show what we do. Because it's called the giant showcase it is yeah. and it's something we really enjoy doing here it is a it's an honor and a privilege to be a part of that well, you're making so, a giant difference for us for we, sure well good thank you i'm glad you know i, I also want to think about um, your, your facebook yes and we twitter, have, all the social media end of things yes. because that's a major effort and uh you know i had patricia gibson on the show a, a little while back and we talked about all of her job responsibilities and it is amazing how much information, current, relevant, not Absolutely. outdated, current information is out there. It doesn't matter if you live right here in Marion, Indiana, or if you are all the way across the, the, uh, to the other side of the world, mm -hmm. through, through the internet, you can get online yeah. and find out what's happening at Marion Community Schools. I, I'll, I'll watch our Facebook pages, and someone will ask us a question at 1130 at night or something like that, mm -hmm. and Patricia Gibson usually is responding. To She's me. on it. It's, it's mm -hmm. like... Mm -hmm. Again, it's our family, yeah. so we want to give them the best customer service we can. Yeah, and and it shows very uh, much. For sure. Well, you know what? I think we're going to have to wrap up this segment because nope. you know what? Oh, okay, let me say. Bobby Owens B. Yes, that's yeah. the because Brad Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, yes. they got All it. All right, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more Giant Showcase, and who knows, maybe Mark too, in just a moment. <laughs> They've stormed beaches and freed countries. They've raised our flag and our hope. They've been called Leathernecks. They've been called Devil Dogs. But above all, they're called Marines. Welcome back to the Giant Showcase. So glad that you are joining us. And look who I have next to me, a legend within Marion Community Schools, Bobby Owens B. She is the sponsor of the Black History Club. And wow, has she brought some excellence to the arts department at Marion Community Schools over the years. And wow, this year, yet again, something pretty awesome is happening within the Black History Club. Bobby, thanks for joining us on the show. And tell me, what is the the production this year that you're going to be doing well our play this year is called the queen a tribute to aretha franklin see i told you it was going to be good 
And it is something that my students and I decided that we wanted to write. And so we sat down and sort of went through her life and we uh, decided on uh, the play to do and the part that we are going to perform for our community. So this is a tribute to Aretha Franklin and you wrote it yourself and that is what the students and you now how much time have you devoted into developing this this play this production? Actually we started in September uh, trying to put the parts together, reading about her life, uh, researching her life. Uh, we wanted to, it to be as uh, true to, to her life as possible. So we started from her early childhood, mm -hmm. and from her childhood, we, we brought it up to her death. Now, you've got a lot of uh, cast members, and you brought some cast members. We're going to get to talk to them in a few minutes. And you've also got some community, uh, as always, you've got yes. some familiar names in our community participating. Tell us who's going to be joining you this year. Well, the father, uh, Aretha's father, Dr. Franklin, is going to be played by uh, Chancellor Alex Husky. I think that's the title he has uh, now. Uh, but Pastor Husky is going to play her father. His wife is going to be, Eileen is going to be in the choir. Uh, we have uh, Miss Evans that's going to sing. Uh, Ida Stalin, Cynthia Starks. It, it's a great lineup of people in our community that are fantastic and they are devoted to our community and they are ready to shine uh, on the 23rd. Power packed cast. So you've brought four cast members today. Yes. And we're going to take a moment to talk to them. And then will you come back and join us here at the tail end of the segment? Oh, I sure will. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see you here in just a minute. So we're going to bring on a couple of the cast members here. You are going to get to meet uh, James Bell and Leilani Jackson. James and Leilani, welcome to the Giant Showcase. Thank you. Glad that you're joining us. I'm excited about the Queen production this year, your cast members, and I would like for you to share with our viewers what your roles are. And uh, Leilani, ladies first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm the daughter. And so what's kind of happening is like we hear that the Queen has died and I'm like, the queen, I think it's Beyonce, because, you know, I'm not used to Aretha, but then we kind of get a little lesson about um, the real Queen of Soul and what she did for the community and all that. And I think it's really, I've learned a lot about her. I didn't know that she was involved in, like, the civil rights movement. And that's oh, really very cool, much. You know? She was more than just a singer. So it's really nice to learn about her. She opened a lot of doors mm -hmm, and a lot of minds and a lot of hearts, too. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And James, tell us a little about your role. I'm the son in the play of her brother. Your siblings. And yes, we are. Well, not in real life. Yeah, just no, no, in no, no, the... No, 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 no. You can't see the resemblance. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm the brother, and I'm kind of the funny guy, you know, in the play. Mm -hmm. I ask idiotic questions. You know, kids nowadays, we don't know much about Aretha Franklin, but... And so I'm going to portray that and do what I have to do, have my little alter ego going on. That's going to be a lot of fun. So there's humor in this play. Yes. Oh, boy. So there's some great performances, right? Some great history and some good comedy. You got it all. We got, got it, it all. all. All right. So we have a couple of other cast members that I'm going to bring on. And they actually are siblings. And folks, you're going to get to meet them right now. See, they're right here. Surprise. How smooth was that, right? I have Kendall and Camille Scales with me, and they are cast members of the Queen as well. Ladies, welcome to the Giant Showcase. Thank you. This is your first time on this show, and who knows, maybe next year you'll be back. You never know. But I would love to hear what your roles are on the production this year. So, Camille, let's yes. start with you. Okay, well, this year I am Cicely Tyson. Uh, I do not want to disclose what Cicely Tyson is going to be doing okay. right now, but um, I'm very excited, and I hope that you all will come and show up. When is so this happening? Is, this is February 23rd at 7 p.m. Okay, February 23rd, 7 p.m. Write that down, get a pen. February 23rd, 7 p.m. And we'll tell you again later so that you, you have time to get that pen and paper ready. And Kendall, tell us what your role is this year. Um, I'm one of the backup dancers um, in Aretha's songs, and one of them being Think. 
But yeah, it's been a really good and fun experience to be a part of. What is your favorite part about uh, being involved with the Black History Club? Um, the music and the interactions that we have with each other because mm -hmm. we're all pretty close to each other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been fun. And Camille, what's your favorite part? Just being able to use my talent, you know, for something that's yes. useful and which can inspire other youth uh, mm -hmm. like myself in this community. And I'd like to thank Ms. Uh, Owensby for giving us both the opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to thank both of you ladies for taking a few minutes out of your day. I know you're very, very busy to join us here on the Giant Showcase, and we look forward to seeing the production on, what's that date again? February 23rd at 7 p.m. 7 p.m., all right. Well, we're gonna bring Bobby Owens be back on, and you're gonna hear a little bit more about the Queen here in just a moment. And I would like for you to share with our viewers a little bit about what the funding from the proceeds of the ticket sales goes to benefit. Thank you. Um, our funding, as always, is to support, support us on taking a college tour. Yes. Uh, this has been something we've done for over 30 some years, closer to 40 years. And we want to continue to introduce our kids to higher learning. And this year we're planning to travel to Atlanta, uh, for our college tour during spring break. So that is something that I know that students look forward to. And I've had the pleasure of the past couple of years of speaking to some of your former students that got to go on those trips and they always come back enriched and it's a great experience and it's something that I think that every student should have the, the benefit of experiencing and how great in, in a group setting like this with, uh, with Bobby of all people, such a, a professional on every level. Bobby, tell us a little bit about, uh, because I know the date is February the 23rd and what is the time? The time is 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And we try to always go at 7 p.m. in order to get people out, since it's on a Saturday, to get them out and ready for church on Sunday morning. That's good. So we try to do early as possible, and so that's what we're doing. This really year. appreciate it. Now, if I want to buy tickets, how do I do that? Well, tickets will be on sale at Marion High School. You can go into the front office. They will have the main office at the high school. And you could also call Marion High School and one of our staff members will answer and get tickets. Tickets are $7, so we try to keep it as a, a family event so families can come out and be entertained together. Very reasonable. And now I have one other question. You know, if, if you happen to have a viewer that's out there watching and they would like to help support the Black History Club, can they make a donation? They can always make a donation to uh, Marion High School, just Marion High School Black History Club. Uh, we have people that will want to sponsor a student. They want to put an ad in our playbook. Uh, those things are available. Uh, we try to keep it as reasonable as possible, very inexpensive. Uh, but any donations can be made to Marion High School Black History Club. Uh, just specify we want this either as uh, on the college tour or towards a scholarship for some of our students. Very good. Well, Bobby, thank you so much for coming on to the Giant Showcase today and uh, telling us a little bit about the Queen, a tribute yes. to Aretha Franklin that's going to be happening February the 23rd at 7 p.m. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with some more Giant Showcase, and you're going to get to talk to Mr. Brad Lindsay, the superintendent of Marion Community Schools. We'll be right back. When doctors told me I would never walk again, somehow I knew I would. Whether you need support in a tragedy or just to make it through a bad day, prayer can make a difference. America, let's come together by believing with each other. You're watching the Giant Showcase. We're spotlighting excellence in the arts, athletics, and academics within Marion Community Schools. We're in the final segment of the show, and next to me, I have Dr. Brad Lindsay. He is the superintendent of Marion Community Schools. And Dr. Lindsay, I am always looking forward to what the times that you join us on the show. And I love doing these last segment rapid mm -hmm. fire overviews of the successes that are happening. You've been with the school system for six years now, and I'm going to be quiet and let you talk about some of the great successes that are happening. we got about three minutes. You want to start? Thank you. Well, you can see from the show today, there's great things or giant things happening in Marion Community Schools. In fact, in the six years I've been here, uh, there's more good things happening now than ever before, and that's as a result of the direct hard work of our, our 
principals and our, our district leaders and our teachers and our staff. It's excellent hard work by our students, yeah. and that's why we exist. And then the families. In fact, uh, Marion Community Schools, we are the f- reflection of the city of Marion. Yes. And we want to be the unifying force. In fact, our goal is from preschool to 12th grade, when they, our students graduate, they are life ready and jobs ready that we make our current industry, local industry, thrive and thrive so much that uh, businesses from all over want to come to Marion and Grant County as a result of the P-12 education we have at Marion Community Schools. It starts with a great foundation. Our Little Giants programs, second to none, and our Little Giants uh, are in all of our elementaries. So Allen Elementary, Riverview, Kendall Elementary, Francis Slocum, all four of those are fantastic. In fact, all four of those are on that journey right now of a be or better. Great things are happening because of healthy relationships, community support, prepared, focused learning, uh, and growth for every student. Our foundation is so strong. And that leads right into uh, Justice Intermediate School, where Federa Smith is our principal. And we talk about student life and activities and clubs and then excellent learning and opportunity in the classroom better than ever before. And there's great growth happening as we look at our scorecards at this point of the, of, of the year, journey from August till current. We are in position for just giant growth leading right into the junior high. And then Lynn Gosser and our team, they're leading the way. There's the, the family night that we, that we just had where the whole community came out to rally around McCullough Junior High through all the clubs and activity, the best music program over half the, of our student body at McCullough Junior High are involved in choir and band. It is second to none. And then we go to Marion High School. Yeah. The opportunities at Marion High School in the arts, yes. in the academics, uh, in the career tech, in the internship, in the real, real world experience, to the athletics, uh, it, it just is the best. And so I, I, I love our students. I love our families. I love living, worshiping, and serving in Marion, Indiana. And I'm proud to be a Marion giant. And I'm, I'm telling you, Angela, our best is yet to come. It is. I love that. Life ready and growth for every student. We look forward to hearing some more of the, those great stories. And folks, thanks for watching the Giant Showcase. And we hope that you'll stay tuned for some more quality family programming right here on WSOT-TV.